the road back. Insert your cliches here about one game at a time, or giving 110%. The truth is this. Before you can win the rest, before you can win this one, before you can find pay dirt or get a big stop or scoop and score, there has to be a belief in your gut, a flicker of faith that ignites a flame that starts a raging inferno of swagger that this is Oklahoma. The men clad in crimson. It's about to get lit. Throws a slant behind, caught Whoa. by CD. One hand grab behind his head. It's a first down. Are wow. you kidding me? He's got a room, 35, 40. 45, midfield, 50, down the sideline, 45, 40. He might go. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, track wall. He's gone. Today, a page turns. In an amphibious amphitheater, cloaked in purple and black, the boys from Normantown begin the second half of the campaign. Can the Sooners, with their backs against the wall on the road, ignite an inferno? We're about to find out. He is cut off and swarmed under the backfield. Ball's loose, and it's picked up. It's scoop. Caleb Kelly's got it, and it's a touchdown. It's a scoop and score. It's a Throws it deep down the right side, looking for Hollywood. He's got it on the run. 10 5. It's a touchdown. Oh, Baba! It's time for a Big 12 battle. It's the Oklahoma Sooners and the TCU Horned Frogs. Here we go. Live from Amon G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas. This is Sooner Football. Four-man rush, stepping up. Robinson, flagged down, and he's brought down. Play action for Murray. Well protected, wide open. He's got the fullback, Carson Meyer. First down and then some out to the 35. So he's got a first down here after a gain of 16. Sermon's got a crease. Gets to the sideline. Near the 50 before he's fought. Draw play here to Sermon. From behind and brought down by Terrell Cooper, picked up four. And I think all my peers would say the same thing. It's not just a simple little scheme. They mix so much variety with an incredible tempo. And Gary Patterson knows this is the most difficult animal that he tries to tangle with. Murray out of the pocket. Might be where he's at his most dangerous. C.D. Lamb. It's a walk-in touchdown. That was the tight end earlier hidden between a guard and tackle. This time it is C.D. Lamb at wide receiver, but this is the danger. And you're going to see C.D. come right across the field, and these linebackers and these guys have to come up. Once Murray breaks containment, there is no question. That is where he's most dangerous, and then it's gone. To see the Horn Frogs adjust a little tighter in their coverage as best they can. Only a three-man rush. Crosser is Brown. Extra step to the sideline that just can't catch him. Right up the gut, it's Sermon. That much more important. Hollywood Brown in space again. And it will be third down. They just get the snap off. There's the slant. C.D. Lamb's got it for a first down. And you saw the massive amount of communication by TCU defensively. And you see the movements and the shifts. And then ultimately, what does it come down to? Just a one-on-one -on -one slant. Just those one-on-ones where your guy is better than their Sermon into the secondary and into the red zone. Murray on a keeper. Gets to the edge. First down. Sermon right up the middle. Powers his way to the goal line. And Oklahoma answers with another touchdown. Well, that aggravates Gary Patterson on the other side. I mean, that is the longest drive. That's, that's unheard of for Oklahoma to have a seven-minute touchdown drive. And Gary Patterson, 
knows that you know <laughs> trying to handle this this team you take the pass away and then you've got a big powerful back that's on your one of your best tackling defenders and he just runs right through that tackle pads down as we start the second quarter here at fort worth tipped ball incomplete get yourself lined up but even late there middle screen incomplete Only a three-man rush. Sean Robinson with all day. That ball's tipped and incomplete. Kenneth Murray in coverage got his left hand on it. Oklahoma gets the stop. Now it's not any spot any quarterback wants to be in. Eight defenders back there and a nice job by Murray here. The guy they call K-9, or at least Ruffin does, nearly an interception. That's been another challenge, Jerry, for this defense. How your school can compete. A handoff on first down to Kennedy Brooks. He's into the secondary. It, actually, it's kind of a funny story. It started as they were making fun of Texas A&M yell leaders, and the gibberish turned into a cheer. They still do. Uh, they haven't had much to cheer about defensively so far as Marquise Brown has another Oklahoma first down. Be outside. Get more opportunities. Get the ball to your best players. Tyler Murray over the middle. Calcaterra's got a catch close to a first down. To give you an opportunity to do what you want to do defensively. Only a three-man rush. Tyler Murray avoids a sack. A little stutter step in the open field. Jets to the sideline. Murray. C.D. Lamb. Option. Kennedy Brooks. First down and then some. Inside the 10. At the pylon. He walks in for a touchdown. That'll be a wonderful matchup too. On a rollout, Robinson. Long throw to the sideline. That looks like a short hop. Intended for Turpin. Play action again for Robinson. Floats one up the seam, and it's right through the hands of Khalil Houghton. Oh, that should have been about as easy an interception as Houghton will ever have. And it went right through his mitts. And that may be the decision that finally puts the backup quarterback in. I mean, that is just a move and a throw you cannot make. You're looking at the safety of the entire way. It's a good four-man rush, and it gets in his face. And off. Kennedy Brooks, seven yards on first down. Yeah. It, it really would to me. Get yourself ready to play. Brooks again. Wow. Kennedy Brooks into the open field. Inside the 10-yard line before he's finally brought down. Ooh. Quick hitter at the goal line into the end zone. Lee Morris, touchdown. Talk about a catch to touchdown ratio. Nine catches on the season for Morris now. Five touchdowns. Talk about cushion in a red zone. And probably worth pointing out. The backup quarterback can often be the most popular guy on any team when the starter is struggling. And here he is, out to the edge, and he just about got picked. Boogie, Boogie Radley Hiles had nothing but green grass out in front of him if he could have held on. The smallest guy you're ever going to see wearing 44. It like wraps around his body, <laughs> but boy do they love the guy they call Buki. And the true freshman there, he started from day one. He's an energizer bunny against the number one offense in this league. Murray over the middle. Alcantara right at the first down marker. But come into play too often with either of these offenses. As on third down, they'll run that option. This got them the touchdown earlier, and it gets them a first down and more here with Kennedy Brooks. Brooks again. Upended. Tyler Murray finds Brooks in the flat. Right at the line to game. Four-man rush. Murray being chased. Floats one to the sideline looking for C.D. Lamb. Drops it in for a first down. We saw this earlier. First touchdown of the game, in fact, was a play that Murray breaks contain. And this takes two. This is out on the playground. That's a shallow cross that C.D. Lamb is so aware. Such a savvy player. Back 
back up to a touchdown lead for Oklahoma. <laughs> Bobbles it and throws the timing of the play completely off where they got freight trained by Shewo Alanalua. Low throw incomplete. Murray comes back to the near side to at least his second, if not his third option on the play, and is able to find C.D. Lamb for a first down. Such a difference of picture of a young quarterback who had a curl flat on the other side, the hello route, and he just stuck on one. You're exactly right. He's looking all the way to the right. He comes back across the field, and it's the ball positioning. It can be dangerous to look to one side of the field and come back. You have to have a lane, and then you better have perfect ball precision, exactly what Kyler has on a huge third down conversion. And the play clock still being kept by the back judge on the field. Murray flushed out of the pocket. He's got another gear. Makes a man miss in the open field. And goes out of bounds inside the TCU 40. Little Statue of Liberty backdoor handoff to Trey Sermon for a first down. How about that no-look handoff from Kyler Murray? Was that tricky? You can see it. He's just hiding it from the defense. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good. Could be pretty poised. Not a lot of people around you. Well done. Bullet pass up the seam. Morris. Touchdown. 27 yards. Little toss forward. Turpin. Reverses field. Nowhere to go. He's going to lose four. Collins underneath. Ty Gunn. Kennedy Brooks down the sideline. Anagut trails him out of bounds. Another big third down. Four-man rush, blind side rush coming. Collins has no idea, and down he goes. Curtis Bolton is able to get the sack. Oklahoma ends the quarter with a big play on defense. Haven't had enough of those, but he is their best blitzer. A perfectly timed stun. And when Bolton gets an opportunity to feast on an inexperienced quarterback, he'll do just that. Run it with Brooks. He's down the sideline again. Another chunk run for Kennedy Brooks. Great footwork by Brooks. How about the balance? To keep his feet underneath him and pick up another first down. Down to the 33. He's got 14 more. Yeah, that's right through Garrett Wallow, the middle linebacker. Converted safety. He's only 205 pounds. You can see it. He's in position. Gary Patterson, if he could talk right now, and he can't because his voice is gone, he would say this is a difference. Just about doubling his rushing total for the season. And they'll go to Trey Sermon. He has a cutback lane. Sermon inside the 15. Stays on his feet for the OU touchdown. to the sideline, broken up, well diagnosed by Trey Brown. They were looking for the wide receiver screen to Rager, and it wasn't there as the pressure came from Neville Gallimore. So a smart play by Collins just dirts the ball, second down. Yeah, this effective earlier, a tunnel screen for a touchdown, and you see the right call. A play action. Collins. Inaccurate throw. He had Tay Barber. Quarterback draw. Are you calling that play on third down because you think you're going to go for it on fourth down? Three man rush. Collins gets out of the pocket. He's going to try and run for it. He gets cut down. Well shy of the line to gain by Parnell Motley.
Oklahoma takes back over. Courageous effort from Michael Collins. Just didn't have the chance to get there. Trey Sermon. Every week. They'll run it again with Sermon. He's got another first down. Dragging tacklers to midfield. And sometimes the game calls for slowing it down. Oklahoma, well, they have done a really good job of grinding the clock down. And now on special teams, they do a really good job. Well, and he is trying to gut it out from the end zone here. Throwing a stop and go down the sideline. Underthrown and incomplete. Intended for Rager. Low throw. Incomplete. Turpin couldn't scoop it up. And it hung in midair just for a moment behind Curtis Bolton, who didn't know it was there. Yeah, and again, just back-to-back -back throws. Well timed, little option route. Everything is right in front of you. It's just low in behind. And the first one could have been 99. I mean, Rager has got a step. That one could have been a 99-yard touchdown pass. And as much as it's also that thumb, you know what it is? It's adversity, too. When you come in as a backup, you said it perfectly. You're the best friend of everybody. Stadium lights up for you. It's so much fun. Touchdown on the tunnel screen. It's a little harder when adversity starts to hit you along with that thumb injury. Intercepted. Picked off by Motley. Parnell Motley. Out of bounds inside the five. And a lot of purple shirts in this stadium just got up and started to head towards the exits. Kind of a similar concept there, a little option route. The first one you saw the misfire. This one he's expecting receiver to run. Receiver does the right thing. He settles down. He can feel the corner outside. Look, he settles it down. But the quarterback loses sight. He loses awareness and vision of everything around him. Matt behind the line. Got down to the two-yard line. You know, you hear a lot of times, especially maybe even more so in baseball, the game speeds up on you. And I think for Sean Robinson, the, the normal starter here for TCU through the first half of the season, you saw that. You felt the weight of everything, the game speed. Now Michael Collins comes in. And when you're the backup that can do no wrong, stadium's cheering for you, you're not thinking about any of that stuff. And Kyler knows as a baseball player how games can speed up on you, and you just watch his game today. And as the moments get a little bigger, as a little adversity hits, you just see the field, man. Everything around you starts to speed up and fly. And the game catching up a little bit to the inexperience of Collins. Well, the one-yard line goes Brooks. I'll be fascinated to watch Kyler Murray. Just in the years to come as a top 10 baseball player, to do this and to make this game look so easy as a first-year starter, to fill the shoes of Baker Mayfield and everything he did for year after year after year. Count me as one that's going to watch him just competitively and athletically what he's going to do for the Oakland A's. Murray to the back of the end zone. Touchdown. It is Carson Meyer. And he holds on, took a hit. As Banagu with some good sportsmanship for Kyler Murray, his fourth touchdown pass. Yep. Well timed, well conceived, and Banagu, that little arm around is, dude, you're just a baller. And is he limping, favoring a little bit as he's coming off the field? He's just a gamer. I mean, he's just a guy that has played so much ball in his life. Football and baseball and basketball. His dad was a stud quarterback at AM. Collins gives. The Di Mercado, and he's out to about the 35-yard line. Cheer, and I saw wholesale changes for them. After so much struggle, they simplified things greatly. They run the option, the pitch out to Di Mercado. Well, Lincoln Riley has an offense that's just a machine, with Kyler Murray running the show. And we'll certainly keep our fingers crossed for the health of Trey Sermon. They already lost Rodney Anderson earlier this season to an injury, but they're loaded in the backfield still 
have a stable of running backs and a different level playmaker yeah. quarterback. Hard to find a better schemer that knows how to utilize all that personnel and is patient enough to play to the strengths of his team as well.